Good morning. Hello, hello. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And it is 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Friday, March 8th, 2024. And I am here for our weekly Fancy Fold Friday tutorial. So say hello if you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know who I'm stamping with. Um, it is a kind of a nice day here today. Um, it's a little, it's overcast for sure. The sky is not blue, but it's it's not snowing or raining. So that's good in my books. <laughs> good morning, Jody and Tina. Hello, hello, ladies. Welcome. So hello, Kathy. So today we are going to create a gift card holder, uh, Fancy Fold, and we're going to be using one of my very favorite bundles, um, Latte Love. This is in the online exclusives. It was released on Tuesday, March 5th, um, and it is so adorable. I absolutely love this bundle. I do love coffee. So, of course, anything coffee related when it comes to crafting is right up my alley. Um, I love everything about it in truth. I love the colors. I love the textures in the ribbons and the embellishments. Um, it's just an absolutely gorgeous bundle and sweet. So if you haven't already checked it out, make sure that you do. You can visit my online store. Um, let me just see if I can find it here. If you go to this link right there, you'll get taken to the shopping section of my online store. And if you scroll down to online exclusives on the left-hand side, all of the new items, and there's lots of them, there are three pages of new online exclusives okay that you want to check out and the latte love is one of those items so make sure you head on over check that out um and get your orders in if you love it as much as i do because you don't want to miss out i know um the flowering zinnias is also that's when i did on monday that one has also been extremely popular and um it is sold out again the stamp set is sold out until march 25th so um, if that one was on your list, don't worry, it is coming back soon. Okay, it won't be long. Um, and then you can order that. Hi, Mary, welcome. All right, so um, it has been busy. Most of you know that I'm in the midst of getting ready to move two provinces over um, to Saskatchewan. And it has been crazy busy around here trying to run my business and um, keep up with the packing and all the preparations and the organizations. Um, hubby is already over there working, so I'm doing most of the packing and stuff on my own, but um, so far, so good. It is coming along, um, and I am managing to keep up with my two videos a week so far, so here's hoping. Um, okay, so thank you all for being here. I am going to pop up, change that banner there to show you the code for March. If you are watching and you want to order, this is the host code to use this month. Um, with, to shop with me. So you can add that to your order. Um, yeah, what else is going on? I don't know what else is going on. What's going on with you guys? What's new? What's the weather like where you're watching from? <laughs> I know some places are still getting like major winter. Um, but yeah, so what's happening with you? I am leaving on Tuesday to go to Houston, Texas for Stamping Up's on stage event. So I am super excited. If you are a demonstrator and you're watching and you're going to be in Houston, be sure to come over and find me and say hello. I can't wait to meet so many new people. Um, I'm super excited about that. So I can't wait to leave on Tuesday. Um, I'm driving to Calgary to catch the flight. So very, very excited for this trip coming up. It'll be a good break. Plus six in Calgary. Okay, I, it is not plus six here. <laughs> um, but it is not too chilly either. All right, let's flip the camera down. I'm gonna remove that banner first, and then I'm gonna flip the camera down to my desk so we can start today's Fun Fold Friday. Alrighty. So please, as we're going along, leave me comments, let me know what you're thinking, what you think of this beautiful product suite. Um, all right, so first things first. Let me just, full disclosure, I have not made this card ahead of time, I just have it planned out. It seems to be the way things are going lately, but it works, so. I have a piece of Lost Lagoon. This is a color that I really do love, but I don't use all that often. So I've got it cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches. So I've just taken a full sheet of cardstock and cut it in half um, lengthwise. And then I've scored it at four inches from this edge, from the left end, and one and a half inches from the right. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold that in both sides and they should meet up nicely right here in the front of the card. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna burnish that with my bone folder. 
aren't this isn't this bone folder adorable i don't know if i've even pointed it out to you guys i've been using it for a while but it's got my my demonstrator team name on it isn't that sweet just i think it's so cute <laughs> um okay so here we're gonna just fold that up Ooh, like that so there is the front that's the kind of like the fun fold part of our card today so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of my liquid glue Okay, and I'm just gonna put a small little line. Oh, there we go. Small little line right along the edge of the cardstock. And I'm gonna close that up. Hi, Joan, welcome. Joan is watching from Washington State. Not too far from where I am right now. Okay, so there we have um, just glued the top and the bottom, right? And this is the front flap. So now we're gonna to get to decorate this card up. And then we'll show you how it all goes together. Okay, so good morning, Bev, welcome. I got, I got this little space and too many things going on. Joan, I am in Trail, British Columbia. So I am only about two and a half hours to Washington, only like 10 or 15 minutes to the Washington border. Um, so two and a half hours to Spokane. Is that what I said? <laughs> I think that's what I said. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're going to take this pattern paper, which is part of the, what is this paper actually called? A little latte um, designer series paper right here. So we're going to take that. I've got this pattern with the coffee beans on it. And on the back is this beautiful pattern that you could use for anything. It does not, of course, have to be anything coffee themed. It would be great colors for Easter too, I was thinking today as I was cutting this. Okay, I have ink on my fingers already, you guys. I haven't even stamped. <laughs> Funny how that works. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna blend a little color. Now, I couldn't decide which brown I wanted to use. Um, so what do you guys think? Should we use pecan pie or early espresso to blend some colors in? Um, so I'm not sure what color we wanna use. You guys, leave a comment. We wanna use early espresso or pecan pie. And while you guys are deciding that, because I can't decide, I'm gonna go ahead and attach another strip of the designer series paper right here, which is this beautiful, I, I say beautiful, it's actually quite cool. It's, you know, it's awesome. I don't think it's necessarily beautiful, <laughs> but I'm gonna use this piece of paper, which I really do love. Uh, on the back is some Lost Lagoon stripes, but I'm gonna use the splatter because we are doing a coffee theme and I'm gonna put that right here along this binding. I'm seeing votes for pecan pie. So get your vote in before I get this finished because we're gonna go with the majority here. Okay, so we're gonna put that on here. Try and get it centered. Like that, I love the liquid glue you guys because there's like so much wiggle room with it right before it actually dries. So there we've got that down the side and it looks like pecan pie is the winner. Sorry, early espresso, but not you today. We're gonna use our pecan pie. Um, I'm gonna move this card out of the way. We're gonna bring in this ink or ink, this paper, so we can blend on a little bit of ink. I've just got a blending brush. I do have multiple brushes, but I keep them, um, like this is my brown one. So I don't clean it off and wash it or anything like that. I just, um, when I'm done, I um, get the majority of the ink off onto some scrap paper and then I just put it away in my folder to use next time. So I do want to use uh, the pecan pie. I'm gonna just go in off here. This is one of the beautiful things about this glass mat. If you guys were lucky enough to get one, whether you were a demonstrator and ordered it ahead of time, or maybe you became a demonstrator during celebration and added it to your starter kit. Um, the glass mat is really great. You don't have to have extra paper underneath. So I don't know if I even want to add, well, maybe a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more of the ink. I do want some of the, um, some of the white showing, especially in the corners kind of offset. Maybe go a little bit darker up here. Yes, the glass mat is an amazing tool. I love it. It is really great. Okay. I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks really good. So now I'm just gonna find my chamois, which hmm, I didn't get it wet ahead of time. So that's not really gonna work for me. <laughs> I just need to get something to wipe this off quickly. Okay. 
because with my luck, I'm going to end up with my hand or my sweater in that. So I'm just going to wipe that off. So see why it's so beautiful? And had I thought ahead and got the chamois wet, that would have been the perfect thing. Anyway, hello, Sandy. Welcome. Okay, so there is that piece done. I'm not going to put that ink away because I have a feeling we're going to be pulling that out again. Okay, so this piece is going to get put onto the front of our card like this. Okay, um, this measurement is three and three quarters by four. So if you're watching and you want to make this card later, you can always write the uh, measurements down as I say them today, or you can head on over to my blog. Um, it'll be live on there sometime today. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how the day is going to go, but I'll get it posted today. So you can go there and all the measurements are always in my blog posts. Um, okay, so this piece here, I don't know if I told you, but this one was four inches long by one and a quarter. Okay, so there is the start of our card. Hello, Tanya, welcome, welcome. Um, so this is the start of our card. It's coming along quite cute, don't you think? So for the inside, no, let's not do the inside yet. Let's do the outside first. So I went ahead and I thought this would be a really great shape to add to the front of our card. So this is from Scallop Contours, just cut out of basic white. And I'm thinking that's gonna kind of go on the card like this. I wanted to make sure that these coffee beans were really dominant because I think they're super cool. Um, and I love the look with them being blended on. So on this piece, I want to stamp, you're the best part of my day. And I've got from this beautiful designer series paper. So this is part of the paper right here, another piece. Okay, see all those cups? And on the back are these fun rings of coffee. <laughs> I love that. Um, and those I cut out using the coordinating die. So yes, this die here will cut out some of the images in the designer series paper. You get so many fun dies with this bundle. I just love this. So I've gone ahead and cut them out, but notice I cut out some that were partial. Like I cut out some that were cut off on the edges because why waste them? We're gonna use them in when we're decorating this card. So there's my little selection. I didn't cut out a ton, but I'm kind of thinking that we're gonna have like some coffee mugs, maybe like, see you can hide. You don't even know that was cut out now, right? So cute. So we could do that, but then that's two hearts. So maybe we wanna swap that one out and put one that's not a heart. We could switch it so the handles are different. Oh, let's see how we wanna do this. Oh my gosh, I think that is the winner. I think that positioning looks just about right. What do you guys think? So the, having said that, I am going to scooch those over. And then on here, we're gonna stamp with let's stick with our pecan pie let's start with pecan pie because that's what you guys chose um for the blending so let's for this one you're the best part of my day which is from our latte um latte love stamp i'm gonna stamp that up here in the top right corner just like that and then this needs a little bit of spackle, so bear with me a sec. So I've grabbed my Stampin' Write markers. See, I told you, I didn't create this card ahead of time. I'm just going with a, on a plan here, kind of a plan in my head, but I'm adding things as I go. So I've gone and grabbed my two Stampin' Write markers. This is Early Espresso and Pecan Pie. You can get both of them in the Neutrals collection. I'm gonna start with Pecan Pie and I'm gonna add some splooches to this. So if you're new to this, this is something that might be pretty awe, in awe of <laughs> this little technique. So I'm gonna open the cap, take the paintbrush end, you know, set it inside and I'm just gonna flick it on here. Okay, and it's just gonna add these really subtle dainty little spackles so if i pull this up and put it up closer to the camera so you can see you can see that little spackling isn't that cool so in the comments let me know is this something new to you did you just learn something really cool <laughs> um i love this technique because it just adds that little bit of something um to break up all that white 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and attach our mugs that we had placed. There, let me see. Do we want to add? Do we want to add? Oh, yes, we do. I think we do want to add some of this Lost Lagoon ribbon. What do you guys think? I think so. Okay, let's scooch these off again. And I'll grab my tear tape, which was, is not here. So we're not going to grab tear tape. We are going to grab. Actually, you know what? This can go in the front of the card. So this is my little trick. We're going to grab our scissors. Those I know I just saw. There they are. So I want my ribbon. I want this ribbon to come all the way around to the front of my die cut here. Because my tear tape is in the other room and I don't want to leave you guys one more time. So I'm going to just make this work. So we're going to take our ribbon. We're going to put it around here like so. Now, normally when I had all my supplies and I was prepared, <laughs> I would stick tear tape right here and keep this in place. But because I don't have that, um, but of course I have dimensionals, I'm going to take those and I'm going to stick them over top like so. Okay, so those are going to act to create, to attach our coffee mugs anyway. So we're not adding anything that we wouldn't have added to begin with. So I'm going to take some dimensionals on the back of the Lost Lagoon mug here. The splatter technique is so fun, you guys. It's one that I kind of, every once in a while I remember and I'm like, oh yeah, let's do that. So I do want to make sure that my dimensionals aren't sticking off the back, but it's okay if this hangs over the, the die cut. Okay, then we're going to take this one and just because you guys all know how much I love my dimensionals, I'm going to double bump this here. And then I'm going to double bump onto the cup because it's, it's already bumped up with the dimensional. I'm going to add another one to make it even. So that one needs to be peeled off. Okay, we'll peel that one off. And then we're going to stick this cup like this. It's on a bit of an angle. Making it, oh my gosh, that's not really sticking down nicely. Oh, because look at I totally missed the cup. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll just peel that guy off. And we'll get a new one. We'll put that right on the blue cup so that way I can ensure it's going to be level. There we go. <laughs> okay, so there is the feature part of our um, card front. I do think we're going to need to put a bow or a tie here, but let's get it all assembled and then make that decision. So here we have this wow that is so cute okay now we could bump this up onto here or we could just glue it my fear about using bump hits or sorry aka dimensionals on this card again is that it's probably not going to go through the mail canada post will probably tell me that i have to put extra postage to mail this so we're not going to do that we're going to just add our seal oops and then position that so that a little bit of this is hanging over here. Get it kind of straight. <laughs> okay, so there's that part. And then, oh, that's not very straight, Denise. This is why I should have used Tombow and I had a wiggle room. There we go. Okay, so that's the front of the card so far. This little piece here, I cut to the same size as the coffee bean, so three and three quarter by four. That's going to go in here in the inside of our card. Um, hello, Barb. Welcome, welcome from Saskatchewan. Um, yes. Oh, I'm glad you've got this stamp set coming because it's super fun. Okay, so on this one, what I thought we would do is of course because we spackled the front let's spackle this one too so i'm just going to do the same thing again just a little bit on this card oops just a little bit okay so nice and subtle with those splatters um oh yes tanya these would be great for birthday cards for coffee lovers for sure okay so now remember those cups i told you i cut out 
um, on the partial edge pieces of the designer series paper. So like I cut these partial ones out. Those now we're gonna use to decorate the inside of our card. So we can put them any which way we want. And if they're coming off the edge, oh no, I don't like it there, like this, like it looks like we intended for it to be there and then cut it off. <laughs> So I love that. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna add a bit of glue there. Stick this one on here. And then this guy, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna add some glue. And then where do we wanna put this one? We could put it on the side or we could put it down the bottom. I think maybe on the side would be cute right here. Okay, and then I want to stamp this. So I'm going to stamp this one with this one is on me. Um, again, this is from the Latte Love stamp set. I'm going to stamp it kind of over here, not centered. And I'll show you why in just a sec. Okay, so this one's on me. Lots of room still to write a little sentiment inside. Um, if you're sending this to somebody, of course, you want to have a little something something inside. Okay, so now open our card and we're gonna put a bit of glue on there. Stick that into the inside like that. And then what I think is perfect for this, so especially if you have card a coffee lover that you're sending this to, um, you can easily get a, car, a um, card from Starbucks or Tim Hortons or whatever your favorite coffee place is. And then you can just stick it in here. Now, see, my plan was that we were going to be able to see this through here. Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> but maybe we can stick it. Oh, we can. See, we can stick it this way. And because of this one has the little emblem, my treat. So there we have, we have this little thing, coffee card here. This one's on me. There's the front of the card. Then let's do one more little couple things to just make this a little bit more embellished. I'm going to take another piece of this Lost Lagoon ribbon. This is from the annual catalog. Um, it is called Bordered Ribbon in Lost Lagoon. It's very pretty ribbon um, to use. And I thought I would use this instead of the trim that comes in the suite just to show a little bit of versatility, how you can mix and match stamping up amazing products together. So I'll color that, trim that off. And then we're going to add some bling. So you guys seriously need to get these in your collection. These are the swirl dots, adhesive back swirl dots. They're part of the Latte Love Suite. And they are so, so cute. Can you see the swirl in those? Not only are they perfect for coffee, but like you could use these on ice cream cards. You could use them really on anything. Um, they are great, great embellishments to have. So welcome, Rosemary from Australia. Hello. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these. I think we're gonna use the darker ones up here. And let's stick one right there. I like to do things in threes. So we're gonna stick another one maybe here. There is only one size, so they come one size, three colors. Oh my gosh, like that. Um, but aren't they pretty? I love these, they're so cute. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and helping me create this card. I think it turned out super cute. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on this card? So that's the front. And then when we open it up, there's our little gift card. And when they pull this out, they can see this other little hidden coffee mug down here. We just cut it out of the designer paper. I love when we can do that. Um, but there's our gift card fun fold for today. Thank you all for being here watching. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs up and your hearts. Um, I do appreciate all of that. It really does help for other people to be able to find us online and come and stamp with us. Um, so thank you, thank you for all of that. And if you are watching over on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please be sure that you do. And then you'll be notified each time that I go live. Um, pop back on here on the screen and um say hello again <laughs> so thank you all for watching
Thank you, thank you. This card is like turned out even better than I had imagined in my head. So I am super excited about that. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it too and that maybe you'll give it a try. So remember, if you missed the, any of the dimensions while I did the video live, I'm going to make sure they're posted in my blog post, um, which will be live at some point today. So if you want to check back tomorrow, guaranteed it will be there tomorrow. Um, I am going to, I'm leaving, as I mentioned earlier, for on stage in Houston, Texas on Tuesday. So I will hoping and planning to be live Monday morning as usual for my Make It Monday video, but I will not be live next Friday as I'll still be in um, Houston. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a while before I'm back. So Monday I'll be here, Friday and Monday I'm still traveling. So it will be a little bit before I'm back, but I hope you'll join me on Monday. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and enjoy a little time to be crafty. If you've just received this suite, I hope you find time to play with it because it is my favorite. I am absolutely loving it. Okay, that's what I have for you for today. Thank you all for being here um, and for all of your support. I will see you guys all hopefully next week. Have a great weekend.